Martin Lawrence is often considered one of the best comedic actors to have ever lived. He has given major hit performances, from shows to movies. But what many didn't know is that the man who was making millions laugh actually had a very toxic personal life. From DV allegations to restraining orders, here's the truth about how Martin Lawrence treated his wives and girlfriends. Well, I think people are a lot more sensitive today. They take comedy way too serious. Either you like them or you don't. You have your own your, your own opinion. You don't have to watch them if you don't. You have that choice. So before making his TV debut, Martin used to do comedy on the streets of Washington and a few not so legal side hustles to put some food on the table. He was later convinced by fellow comedian Rich Snyder to move to New York to pursue comedy full time. Martin did just that, moved to New York, and made it up to the comedy club The Improv. Shortly after his appearance on The Improv, he was discovered by some executives at Columbia Pictures and got offered the role of Maurice Warfield in the show What's Happened Now. But it wasn't until 1992 when his career really took off after he got a show of his own on Fox titled Martin. It was a huge hit and racked up over 11 million viewers in its first season alone, becoming one of Fox's most successful shows ever. Shortly after this, Martin entered into his first highly publicized relationship with his co-star Lark Voorhees. Lark became a popular household name for her role in the series Saved by the Bell. Lark revealed during an interview with People Magazine that she and Martin were in a serious relationship and even got engaged. However, the engagement came to an end when Lark found out about another woman that Martin was planning to marry. When he announced the marriage during a performance on the Arsenio Hall show, it seems like Martin had no plans to marry Lark at all, since he didn't even have the decency to break up with her before making plans to marry another person. But that wasn't even the worst part. Lark's co-star from Saved by the Bell, Dustin Diamond, spilled some major tea in his memoir when he announced that Lark was always on the edge and flinched every time a man would pass by her. Many people took this as a sign that Martin was physically aggressive toward her during their relationship. Lark seemingly confirmed these claims when she reposted a page out of Dustin's memoir detailing her abusive relationship with Martin. In the caption, Lark said, Martin Lawrence is no saint. Use is use. These men need to be held accountable for their actions. The truth is in the pudding. And let's not also forget that after all of this happened, Lark disappeared from Hollywood because her mental health had deteriorated so much. Now, do y'all remember when I said Martin made plans to get married to another woman while he was still engaged to Lark? Well, that side piece was later confirmed to be former Miss Virginia, Patricia Southall. Martin and Patricia got married in 1995, but just like like his previous relationship, this was also a hot sink mess. Patricia revealed that just a few weeks after they got married, Martin turned violent and started having manic episodes. We were both very young and volatile with each other. We just couldn't figure out how to make it work. Things only got worse in 1996 when he was caught running in the streets of LA screaming and acting like a madman while holding a loaded firearm. An eyewitness who saw the whole commotion said the police were forcefully putting their arms around him, like trying to hold him down because he was fighting so much and yelling. He was like a madman. I was like, that's Martin Lawrence? I couldn't believe it. Police told the Daily News that Martin might have had a seizure after failing to take a prescribed medication, but his publicist slammed those allegations and claimed that he was suffering from complete exhaustion and dehydration. And then he reportedly missed out on a couple comedy gigs and even showed up to the Burbank airport with a loaded firearm. In Patricia's memoir titled Second Chances, she said that Martin woke her up one night randomly and just started a fight with her and shoved her. She quickly ran out of the house with her daughter Jasmine and they spent the night at a hotel. She quickly admitted that she felt guilt, shame, and embarrassment after leaving, but she knew it was the right thing to do. Now, Martin filed for divorce just a few weeks after that, less than two years of marriage with Patricia. She seemingly clapped back by issuing a restraining order against him. Martin tried using his daughter to fight it as a reason to still be close to Patricia, but Patricia ultimately won that restraining order against him and told the judge that he threatened to kill her and her entire family. She also challenged their prenup and requested 50K in monthly child support payments. but. 
this was the least of Martin's problems because the drama in his life was just getting started. His co-star Tisha Campbell, who played his love interest in Martin, abruptly left the show and filed a lawsuit against him, charging him with repeated and escalated sexual harassment and battery, verbal abuse, and related threats. According to court documents, Martin became increasingly manic and volatile. He would often and easily fly into uncontrollable fits of rage for no apparent or rational reason. And by the third season of the show, he humiliated and abused Tisha in front of the entire cast and crew on so many occasions that it reached the point where she needed to be hospitalized due to the stress that he caused her. Things got even worse by the fifth season. Reportedly, Martin got physically violent with Tisha. The lawsuit revealed that she was terrified and concerned for her safety and decided to leave the show. They later settled for an undisclosed amount outside of court and Tisha agreed to film a few more episodes as long as she didn't have to film them with Martin. But Tisha wasn't the only co-star who felt threatened by Martin. His fellow actor Chris Williams, who played a small role in the show, described Martin as an ego maniac. Maniac. According to Chris, Martin beat him up during the set and nearly gave him a concussion. Chris claims that Martin punched him in the head multiple times. But just like most elite Hollywood actors, all of these allegations were swept under the rug and Martin continued to book very big roles. Like his role as Marcus Miles in the Bad Boys franchise, which grossed over $115 million in its first four days of release. All of his victims have seemingly kept a low profile over the years, except for Tisha, who recently told People Magazine that she is healed from all the trauma that Martin put her through and is ready to forgive him. She said, everything else is a personal situation that we've all healed from, so we're not even going to talk about it. But that's not the end of Martin's toxic story. After his marriage with Patricia ended, Martin moved into his next marriage with Shamika Gibbs. According to reports, he and Shamika met at a party around 1995 while he was still married to Patricia, but decided to just be friends and not rush into things. They started a relationship right after his divorce from Patricia and eventually got married in 2010 after dating for 15 years. But just like all his past relationships, this also ended in messy divorce after just two years. Martin filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. But unlike his other relationships, the details about their divorce was kept a secret. However, many fans believe it was probably because of his toxic tendencies and random manic episodes. And even to this day, some fans are still disgusted by everything Martin did to these poor women. One person said, what he did to Tisha Campbell on set really sullies the whole Martin series for me. I can't help but think of how her mental state was when she was begging everyone to stop and yet they kept going. Another person jumped in and said, it doesn't surprise me that Lark called him out as an abuser. He has a reputation of being violent. He had his breakdown years after they split and then she mentally declined years after, citing trauma from past relationships. But now I want to know your thoughts. How do you feel about Martin's very toxic history with the women that he's been linked with? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to click here to watch this other messy video.